Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Danielle. For those of you who do not know me, hi, welcome. I'm so glad you stopped by today. Today I'm super, super excited because I'm going to be showing you guys how I got this look that I'm wearing right now. I had so much fun kind of creating this and kind of thinking this up. I used four different eyeshadow palettes, that's right. Four different eyeshadow palettes. I know it's kind of excessive, it's kind of crazy, but I absolutely had a lot of fun kind of mixing and matching these palettes. And I'm gonna show you right now which palettes I used. One of the palettes that I used is the Tribe Palette by Juvia's Place. This is what this gorgeous palette looks like. Then I used the Morphe Jaclyn Hill Armed and Gorgeous palette. And it looks like this. This to me is a very, very fall palette. And then I used, believe it or not, the Paulina and Blush Tribe palette, which looks like this. Ah! I love this palette, you guys. And then last but certainly not least is the Hasina 2 palette by Blush Tribe. And that looks like this right here. I'm super excited to get into this video with you guys and show you how I created this look because I'm super proud of it and I think it's gorgeous. You guys will have to watch until the end and let me know your thoughts. So here we go. We're going to start this tutorial right now. Okay, so the first step that I'm going to take here is using the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow primer. Now I use a very small amount and I'm kind of just spreading it on a little bit with the applicator before I go ahead and take a Real Techniques brush. This is an eyeshadow brush, but I like to use it to kind of blend out eyeshadow primers and things. And it works really, really well with this Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow primer. I have not found any other like instance where I could get this primer to work for me until I started doing it this way. And it has worked very, very well. So there's that <laughs> little tidbit for you guys in case you're wondering how to get that primer to actually work. Then I go ahead and go in with washi tape. And I know it's kind of strange that I'm using washi tape after the fact. I, I kind of forgot that I wanted this to be a more winged out look. So I went ahead and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to throw it on afterwards. So I kind of angle it out to give myself that winged out eyeshadow look that you know I do all the time then I go ahead and I go into my Morphe and Jaclyn Hill armed and gorgeous palette and I take the shade agent which is this orangey yellow shade and I pack that on I'm using a Sonia Kashuk um, blending brush actually and I'm just kind of packing and slightly blending as I place it I will go back in and blend it much more after this but right now I am just kind of focused on where it is and then as you can see I go ahead and I start to blend it out the one thing I've noticed about these specific morphe shades is that you have to kind of get the pigment you want on your eye before blending it out or it just doesn't really look right so again I'm doing that kind of same motion there on my other eye so it's kind of that same thing. I just kind of pat it on and then I go ahead and blend it out or start to blend it out. And I'll go ahead and put a little bit more pigment on it just to get it to where I want it and make sure both eyes match. I do go on to the first eye I started with and kind of wing it out slightly more because the second eye, I, I don't know. My eyes can never get along. They're not the same size at all. <laughs> One of them is very much bigger than the other one and so my eyes always come out a little bit different and then one eye sits a little higher than the other one which is something I found out when I started kind of playing with makeup and trying to get my brows to be even it's just it's just what it is then I go into the Tri palette by Juvia's and I take the shade Ashanti which is a beautiful kind of like I want to say like the best way to describe this shade is actually like baby poop brown because it really is that. It kind of has that yellowy green kind of tone to the brown, which worked really well to kind of blend it out with that yellowy orange 
on my eye as well as to kind of make sure everything kind of blends cohesively from here on out because I am going to be using green shades and green and that like orangey shade don't really blend very well together and that's kind of why I really like this shade for this look because it kind of helped me to bring everything together versus it being like I'm gonna have to do a cut crease because I really did not want to do a cut crease for this look. I've been kind of trying to avoid doing cut creases. And by the way, this brush is an e.l.f. kind of a crease brush or blending eye brush. It's a blending eye brush now that I think about it. And I just kind of blend those two shades together as best I can. I am going to go back in with the original brush I used, which again is the Sonia Kashuk brush, and just kind of blend everything together. You guys will see throughout this tutorial that I do use different, or uh, the brushes that I used previously and continue to use them throughout the look. Next, I go into the Hasina 2 palette and I use the shade Mani on a smaller e.l.f. brush. And I just place this on the outer corner of my eye and into the crease of my eye. I like this brush because it helps me place this really, really well. Whereas if I used a bigger brush, it would have gone up into that orangey shade and just made it harder to kind of blend and soften the edges between those two shades. So I'm really, really glad that I have this brush and have these e.l.f. brushes because they work very, very well for being um, more inexpensive eyeshadow brushes. And I'm not too worried about blending everything just yet because I'm gonna go back in with that e.l.f. blending brush and I'm going to take more of that shade from the uh, Tribe palette that I used, the Ashanti shade, and I'm just gonna kind of blend everything together and really kind of make sure that I don't have any harsh lines and that it sits really, really well on my eyes with both those shades there together. So it's kind of a blend, 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 and then blend some more with this eye look. I mean, if you're going to go for it, you got to, you got to be willing to blend for a while to get the look that you want sometimes and to have everything kind of cohesive and matching. Because if you don't treat one eye the same, I mean, you're going to have a completely different look on the other eye or it's going to look unblended and then the other eye is going to look perfect, which I've had that happen to myself. So yeah. And I kind of like how there's that like little pop of that yellowy orange above it. Then I go back into the Hasina 2 palette and I'm going to go into the black shade Ash. And I'm using this on a very, very small detail brush for a reason because I'm using that brush to also blend this in because I do not want a harsh line of black on the outer corner. I am later going to go in with eyeliner, which is going to kind of cover up the effect of this but if you didn't want to go in with winged eyeliner this kind of gives you that deepening effect to kind of really give you some depth it does still in my look have that depth on the outer edge of the eye just not not as much because of the winged eyeliner so i'm just kind of letting you guys know you you can skip steps you don't have to go as dark as i'm going here it's it's really up to you and what you're comfortable with if you do decide to recreate this look if you have all of these palettes also if you notice me moving a lot i am sitting on the ground and it was hard for me to kind of get comfortable so i apologize for that but I do really kind of like how deep the outer edge of my eye looks. I think it looks really, really great with that kind of deep kind of army kind of green. And then I'm going to go in with that original first brush the uh, and just kind of blend everything out and make sure it's kind of blended all together the way that I want it before I go in with any of the shimmer shades that I'm going to be using. Then I'm going to go into the Hasina 2 palette and I'm going to use the shade Shea on a flat kind of packer brush and I'm just going to lightly dab this on to my eye. It does kind of take a bit of time to build this up the way I want it to. I didn't go in and spray it or anything, which I should have. In all honesty, I should have gone in and sprayed this, but I decided not to. So it takes a little bit more work. Had I sprayed it, I don't think I would have been here focusing on this as long, but 
you know, you, you learn as you go sometimes. And this was not my brightest moment when it comes to makeup. But I do kind of really, I love, love, love the shimmers in the Blush Tribe palettes. And I really like this one for like deepening the outer portion with a shimmer. So, and it kind of helps everything kind of stay cohesive with the next shimmers I place. Then I go into the Blush Tribe and Paulina palette and I use the shade Soli. Now, right now, the shade looks way too off tonal wise, but I am going to go in and blend it over the top with another shade because the two together look really, really beautiful. It just does not look quite right with that. I mean, it doesn't look horrible, but it's not really the uh, vibe I was going for or the shade I was going for when I first placed this on. And then I got a brilliant idea. A very brilliant idea to go into the tribe palette and take the shade Coro and place it over the top to kind of give it that yellowy green that kind of brings everything else out look how vibrant that shade becomes with those two mixed together it is so so pretty and I'm glad I mixed them because I it it's stunning it is just stunning and I'm I'm very happy with how that turned out and then I'm going to go in with my Stila stay all day liquid eyeliner and I'm going to do my liner now I'm gonna let you know at some point you're not gonna be able to see what I'm doing just know that I'm doing a giant wing which I did not intend to do it I did not intend for it to become gigantic but it did because that's usually what happens when I go in to do my liner is I'm like, oh, you know, I'll just do a little wing and then nope, boom, huge giant wing for no apparent reason because that's what Danielle does. <laughs> huge giant wings because I don't know how to do little wings and sometimes when I do, I'm like, oh, they need to be bigger. They don't, they, they really don't. But yeah, now the most satisfying part ever. The removal of the tape. Ah, it feels so good. I don't know why, but that is my favorite part when I wear tape is taking it off. Then I go in with the Lancome uh, Super Emphasizing Mascara Base. I really like this. I've been kind of trying this little sample size for a couple of weeks now, and I've pretty much used it every day under my It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara, and I kind of really like how the two pair together. I don't know that I would go out and purchase this. I, I don't, I don't know, but I do like how the two pair. So there it is, my It's Cosmetics Superhero Mascara, which is my favorite uh, mascara of all time. I have a few others that I call my favorites, but like this is number one compared to all of those. I just love how it makes my um, lashes look and yeah, it's just, it, it makes me happy. It's, it's a good mascara. Okay, so I just quickly stepped off of camera to do my foundation and my powder. And now we're gonna go ahead and get into finishing the rest of the look. Okay, so I take a Tarte blush, um, their 12-hour Amazonian clay in party. I know I had to say it that way. I'm sorry. <laughs> and I kind of just, I like how these blushes layer. I kind of want a few more of them, but I really don't need any more blushes. And I really like the tone with the green. And so I put it on the apples of my cheeks and kind of take it back a bit. And then I do kind of lightly dust some of it over the rest of my face, just to give my face a little bit more color since I did not bronze or anything like that. Then I go in with the Artist Couture diamond glow powder in summer haze this is a very gold um, powder but if you go in and use a light hand you can definitely use it on a variety of skin tones um, it is a very very beautiful highlight I really like it it is a loose highlight so you do have to be a little bit careful when you're using it then I go in with this NYX eye pencil I'm not saying the full name because it's longer than the pencil but it is in brown perfection I will have all of these products listed down below in the description box for your convenience to see exactly what I'm using and what I used and there will also be links provided 
they will not be um, affiliate links or anything like that. But I am just placing this in my waterline and along my lower lash line. Get ready for the weird faces that I make when I do this because I, I make weird faces. I can't help it. I make weird faces. It's part of the process, apparently. Then I go in with the shade Top Secret from the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill palette, and I'm using a smudger brush, and I'm just kind of smudging that along where I also place the liner. Smudge, smudge, smudgy, smudge, smudge. <laughs> So I do that on both eyes and I really like how the the impact that it gives my eyes like I could have just left it with just the liner but I don't think it would have had the same intensity and I really like how it kind of plays off of my green eyes. Then I go back into the the <laughs> Tribe palette by Juvia's Place and I take the shade Coro and I just place that by itself into my inner corner and I like how bright it is up against what I have on my eyes. It is slightly different. It is slightly more yellow than the kind of greeny shade that I have on my eyes and I really, really do like that. Then I go in with the Pat McGrath Labs lipstick in OMI and I place that on my lips. I really, really, really love the, these lipsticks. I'm kind of obsessed with them. It's a problem. I need them all. <laughs> But I only like the mini ones. I don't want like the giant ones because I don't think I would go through them as fast. So yeah, I think it pairs very nicely with this look. And then I do go in with the Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe, cucumber, and green tea. And I use that as my setting spray. Now you guys are going to see me kind of do like a montage. Ooh, yeah, look at me. I'm Danielle. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Getting it. Getting it. There it is. Oh yeah. Oh wait, wait. There's going to be a close up. Ready? Set. Zoom. Close up. Booyah. There it is. There is the close up of my eyes. Look at those beauties. They're so pretty. They're so pretty. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I do hope that you enjoyed the tutorial. I had a lot of fun kind of creating this very kind of like grungy fall look for you guys. You will have to let me know what you thought of it down below in the comment section. I always look forward to hearing what you all think and if you did like it, please like this video, subscribe to my channel to see more content like this, and I will hopefully see you guys in the next one. Bye! Bye.